Hey guys, it's Joseph here on Joe Stuff, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make renders like this with your LEGO models. Pretty photorealistic looking, so let's go ahead and jump in there. So, we're going to go to Google first of all here, and you'll need to have uh, LEGO Digital Designer or some other one such as um, uh, L LDRAW or something like that. Uh, I have a uh, tutorial which you'll see coming up up here about how to use LEGO Digital Designer, so you can go check that out if you need to know how to use that. But I'm going to assume you already have that downloaded or something similar. And the next thing you'll need is something called Studio, made by Bricklink. So you're going to go search bar and type and type stud.io and enter. It'll load a Bricklink page. So here's the page where you can get it at. And you can read stuff about it down here. But I'm going to go ahead and click Download Studio for Windows. If you have something else, you can also click these ones down here. So it'll download over in the corner, and I'll go ahead and skip through this part so you can see it. So when that finishes, then just click to open it right here. And it should open right up after a second. Then you can hit yes if it asks you that. Then just go ahead and go through the, the setup in the installer and to go ahead and do it. And install. And skip through this part too so that we can get straight so after you've uh, finished setting it up and it probably asks you to restart the computer so after that then you can just head down over here to type in and it should come up if you type in start typing in studio it should come up studio 2.0 like this just open that right up and it should load up after a minute and so once it's loaded up, then you can see you have like a little welcome screen here, which uh, you can uncheck this if you don't want to see that when it starts up. But I kind of like to see it because you can see these different things you can have. So there's gallery, uh, gallery items down here, things you can see. There's also sample models. So I'm going to go ahead and open this um, old uh, Mac computer. So to move around in studio, you basically right click and drag to spin around. Hold down shift while doing the same thing to pan. And you can select stuff by clicking on certain things. So, <clears throat> this, of course, is a thing by itself. You can build stuff with this. You know, you can drag bricks out. I prefer to use uh, Lego Digital Designer. So, that's why I said you needed that. But you don't, it could be anything. You can use this. But uh, Lego Digital Designer is the one that I use mostly. So, what you can do is go up to File, Import, and Import Model. And then you can select the uh, the LXF file from the... Uh, Lego Digital Designer and put it in here. But for now, I'll use this as a sample file here. Just the sample computer. So to render it, then you go up to this render button. There's all kinds of other tools in here, which I don't know a whole lot about. But I do know about a really cool feature, of course, which is the render. So you can click on the render. And now there's a bunch of uh, things in here. A bunch of uh, stuff that you, looks like a lot of settings. So a few things here. You can have render quality, medium, high, very high. I would recommend very high since it looks really good, but of course it takes longer if it's higher or very high. I'll go to high for now. You can also set a uh, aspect ratio and size in here, so larger resolutions will probably take longer to uh, uh, to render than smaller ones. So I'll pick something in the middle here, somewhere like 800 by 600 there. And then once you have everything finished, and there's other things like background and light, you can change the background to transparent. You can have it so that there's still a shadow. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here you can tinker around with, but it should look pretty good if you do it like this. You can see what the view is going to look like when it's finished, right here. And you can uh, do things like uh, change the... You can do a custom image size or preset like we like I showed you there. You can change the format down here, PNG, JPEG, BMP. So um, once you're ready to, to um, do it, then go ahead and click the render button right here. And it'll ask you where to save it, so I've got a few things saved in here. I'm just going to go ahead and save it with the file it already has. And just hit save. Come up with the exporting screen. And then after a second, it should start doing stuff. So it'll open up a thing called EyeSight, which we'll start with here. And then another thing. And this, uh, this the EyeSight render panel here, this is where it's going to show it right here. It's going to show it in this box. But of course it's black right now. You can see the progress moving along up in the corner. And you see it's starting to it's starting to get moving here with rendering it. It'll kind of go bo a box by box, one box at a time kind of 
filling it all out. So I'll go ahead and I'll speed this one up so you can kind of watch it render in fast speed. So after it finishes its rendering, then it should pop up with a uh, an image of the finished thing, and as you can see, it looks very, very good. You can do even higher render qualities, but even this right here looks pretty photorealistic to me. Although, of course, you see the parts are floating a little bit, but floating above the ground. But you see it makes shadows, nice background, and um, reflections and everything. So that's how you do uh, great renders for your LEGO models without ever having to actually build them. Of course, building them is the fun part too, but if you wanted to put this up like on Lego Ideas or something, then you could totally do that fine. Alright, I'll see you next time on Joseph.